So my work is in additive manufacturing. Um, traditional machining methods cut and remove material in order to make a part of a desired shape and size. In additive manufacturing, however, you make a three-dimensional part by adding material layer by layer. And you follow a computer model that has the indications of the shape that you want to make. One of the examples that we have for, ad for additive manufacturing is 3D printing, polymer 3D printing, which is most commonly used for prototype parts. However, with recent advances, additive manufacturing has evolved way beyond um, prototyping. In fact, now the applications range from printing jet engines to human prosthetics to even 3D printers themselves. A great example of additive manufacturing is in the medical field specifically joint replacements. Think of an athlete compared to a senior citizen. Through additive manufacturing, they can have a joint that is specifically suited to their needs. The flexibility in geometry and in material properties are completely unprecedented, especially when you're considering high strength materials like metals. Yes, even metals can now be 3D printed. These advances are all exciting, but there remain questions about part quality. If we print this joint, how do we know that the final part meets the required design constraints? This question is particularly difficult to answer when we're talking about one-of-a-kind parts that don't have a, re a reference standard that you can go for quality control. My research seeks to answer these questions by developing an ultrasonic technique that will fully characterize the AM part and provide feedback that can enhance the process and then further facilitate customization of these parts. The ultrasonic method we're proposing extends beyond traditional defect detection, so think pores or cracks. In fact, you can look at information on the internal structure of the part and microscale features of it. This enables us to get information about the mechanical properties and even predict future performance. We'll validate a technique using components made with titanium alloys that you commonly found in joint implants. This project provides a unique opportunity to involve students with very diverse interests. Think design, manufacturing, acoustics, and you have mechanics, engineering science, material science, and even biomedical engineering. Through my interdisciplinary research, I will reach out to students currently underrepresented in STEM fields, particularly women. I am committed to spending the time and effort necessary to inspire a new generation of additive manufacturing scientists that will change the world through personalized medicine.